William Thomson, Lord Kelvin was a British mathematical physicist and engineer. He did important work in the mathematical analysis of electricity and formulation of the first and second laws of thermodynamics, and did much to unify the emerging discipline of physics in its modern form. Thomson had heart problems and nearly died when he was nine years old. In academic year 1839-1840 he won the class prize in astronomy for his essay on the figure of the earth which showed an early facility for mathematical analysis and creativity. Thompson was deeply involved in his work for transatlantic telegraph cable. Thompson's galvanometer instrument was considered better than his superior White House's apparatus. Because of this fact, unfortunately, Thompson had to suffer a major setback. White House, with his ill intent, ruined the cable by delivering massive shocks of 2,000 volts. The whole effort of laying 1,200 miles of cable went down the drain. Thompson was disappointed and regretted of not challenging White House with sufficient vigor. Nevertheless, he did not give up and decided to continue with his work. A further attempt in 1866 laid a new cable in two weeks, and then recovered and completed the 1865 cable. The enterprise was now fated as a triumph by the public and Thomson enjoyed a large share of the adulation. Thomson, along with the other principals of the project, was knighted on 10 November 1866. Throughout his life, he would work on the problems raised in his childhood's essay as a coping strategy during times of personal stress. These lines inspired Thomson to understand the natural world using the power and method of science. Go, wondrous creature. Mount where science guides, go measure earth, weigh air, and state the tides, instruct the planets in what orbs to run, correct old time, and regulate the sun. 